in this chapter, I will describe the project you will have to do. Uh, and the project is the following. Let's play the demo video. This, this is the game of the, the sound of the game. Okay, so we can fix the name of the user and its motto. Okay, we have a button, a notification, then we can choose the level, and you have a chicken. And the long press, move your chicken to the, to uh, to the bottom. You can orient it, but you cannot go up. Okay, and then you have to cross the different roads. and win. This is quite simple. You have a notification that you achieve the level in this number of times seconds, milliseconds. And then you can choose to display the result and choose an, another level. And this can be more complicated or maybe I'm not and this can be more complicated or maybe I'm not <laughs> and this can be more complicated <laughs> and this is the end of the game okay there are a few details I have to mention that are first you will have to use a map and you have to understand and to be able to detect where the user is, to localize him inside of the map to the result uh, screen. Okay? Uh, this project really helps you to understand how to handle Google API for maps and to understand about the UI threads, which is the thread that display uh, all the information on the screen. The mandatory part of this project is what you've seen in the video, okay? And it will provide you 15 points. So there are four screens, the world, the game, the profile, and the statistics, okay? Some description about the world. You will have to download some files, which is here, and this file will be updated for uh, graduation. So you will have to download it in your application, and to parse it in order to have the different uh, place where you can play, the background uh, of uh, each place, the car of each place, and so on, and so on, and so on. There is a simple format for this uh, file. Each line represents a location, and there is a, a hashtag for separating the different fields. Okay, and so I will update this file for the, uh, for the graduation. Okay, uh, for the game's details, you have to uh, note that we assume that the roads are always positioned in the e exactly the same position. So you can fix your position of your car by hand, it's okay. Uh, you have to move car, so you will have to under a thread that will continuously update uh, the position of your cars and you have to deal with the bird. The bird moves when you press long on the screen and when you move your screen, your finger, it will move the, the bird, but not as fast as you move your, your finger, okay? And you will have to detect collision. It's okay if your collision is not perfect, but you will have to detect collision, okay? Uh, the result detail, which is the statistic uh, of all the elements, you can find the result here. We have to download it during the application, okay? And you can ask for the other file you have to, to download. Assume that only new lines will be added, okay? 
no lines will be removed, but only new lines will be added. And this file only contains four elements, the name, the home tone, the time, and the level name. So for instance, here I play to Paris, and I was in, in Uy for playing, so my home tone is Uy, and my level name is Paris. OK? And when you play, you must detect the uh, geolocalization of your user to fix the home tone uh, field. OK? For the detail, you will have to set up a picture, a name, and a motto. And there is music during the whole game. We will see how to handle services for music. And you are free to choose the music you want and the bird you want. Tips. Uh, you can find the city from a position using uh, Google API. Uh, you can use floating button, a floating button for action inside of the map. The two floating buttons are profile and statistics. Uh, you may fix the orientation to landscape to under absolutely not the rotation. And you may have to want you may want to use a handler for the untouch event and fix the size of the images. If you want to have some results from an activity, you can use the start activity for result uh, method, which allows you to grab a result when your activity is popped from the back stack. So then you can implement few options, as many as you want, zero or more. And each option is on 2.5 uh, points. So you can support the rotation of all, on all screens. OK, this is 2.5 points. You can handle persistence across reopening. It means that you play, you have some score, you quit the game, you reload the game, your score is uh, preserved. You can share the score uh, using uh, the dedicated uh, uh, component. You can build a widget for displaying the best result. You can allow the user to create its own levels. You can sort the list of results. You can offer the possibility to record the game. I mean, you can register the screen of the game and be able to display it. So it's a, it's a video of this game. Uh, you can connect with iOS with Bonjour uh, protocol. And so you will have to develop also uh, an iOS application. And if you have other ideas, welcome. OK, I will just check if this ID could fit, but welcome. OK, and if you implement all these options, your grade will be not more than 20 over 20. OK? So for the submission, uh, you will have to uh, submit an archive containing a readme that describes your architecture, the name of the teammate, uh, the option you implemented, and the problem you encountered. Uh, you will have to. Um, to provide at the root of the archive the APK of your application, which is uh, the application itself. And you can find, find it inside of Android Studio. And the source of your application, you have to clean them. I will reread re them. So clean them and document them. And you will be at most two uh, to do the project. So to sum up, this is a simple application uh, which allows you to connect with Google API, to parse, to uh, grab touches event, uh, to handle multiple screen. And once you have done that, you are able to build games like Pokemon Go, Ingress, Crossy Road, Temperance. Okay.